Ndamu's recently exposed leadership Montler. I did some fact checking on what he said and it seems like Ndamu's might be talking the truth. Let me show you. Ndamus is very often seen as a crazy person that gets drunk and talks a lot of things on his Instagram live without evidence to back it up. Rian, fuck you and your YouTube. The only YouTuber watching is the president. Uh, and my YouTube has nice contact. Too. Fuck your YouTube that, we're talking about. Let, me make, it, for let me make it simple. My president, if you let me make it simple. I hope to Mutani, DJ coach, aka Mr. Iwalet, Kerry, no mawe, no mawe. I'm saying it live, you can record it and send it to him. No mawe. <laughs> and when you look at leadership, Montla, he is very often seen as someone that is honest, diligent, and makes his money through forex trading. <laughs> <laughs> Both of these statements couldn't be any further from the truth than what it already is. Let me simplify it for you guys. I took a look at Leadership Montla's Instagram and I saw two cars that looked quite suspicious. And when I look at the name of the person Ntamu said is the real owner of these vehicles, I saw the exact same vehicles. You tell me if this is a coincidence. Yeah, you can see King Abashwe uploading a picture of an Audi TTS saying on Wednesdays we choose the TT, right? But then here you see a picture of Leadership Montla in front of a TTS as well. Same spec, same color. Coincidence, right? Hey, y'all, come look at this. Yeah, you see Leadership Montla with a Viano, right? And this thing is said to drop panties like mad. But I want you guys to take a look at the thing on top, that extra boot space carriage thing on top. I've never driven in these cars, so I wouldn't know what that is called. Take a look at the rims as well. And then you will see that this is the exact same thing that King Abashua is standing by. Again, same color, same spec, same extra add-ons. Isn't that too much of a coincidence? Oh my God! Upon further inspection, I noticed that there's a whole lot of comments that says that King Abashwe rents out these vehicles, right? And when I looked on Instagram, I found an old poster that was posted by Quality Creatives, which is an organization, a business that makes business posters for other businesses. And I found a poster titled Abashwe Wheels. Now, when you look at the name King Abashwe, Abashwe Wheels, this kind of makes me feel that there's a whole lot of truth to what some people is saying in the comment section that this guy might be leasing out his luxury vehicles to some of these forex traders. Chocana. At this point, I think it is safe to say that Kelly Montla, who is the little brother of Leadership Montla, might be doing the same when it comes to these cars that they say they own. Kelly, the people want to know, bro. Yeah. How much money do you make a month? A month? Yeah. Say a guess. Oh. Oh shit, take a guess. How much money do you make a man, bro? 18 years old, by the way. I'll probably say like, uh, let's put it like over 200k. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. As for all of those green cars, I'm very certain we all know who those belong to. Whether it was said as a joke or whether you meant it seriously, it really flew over some people's heads when Ghost Clube called these people scammers. I never, yo, now nah, listen guys, close this door. I never want to see you guys ever again. Okay, yeah, bro. Oh, wait, nah, it's okay, bye. Oh, wait, nah. Bye. It's okay, bye. Oh, Elena. You're not all there, Elena. I never see you scammers ever again. I swear, please. Now get the fuck out of here. Cows, boy, scam money. 
Thanks for joining. I will see you guys in my next video.